Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. Um, welcome to our first Monday morning motivation of 2024. Um, I kind of took some time off there at the end of the year to be with uh, my family and just to be present uh, with them and all the things that we were doing and making memories. So I um, kind of just put a kibosh on the lives for just a minute. Um, but I'm back with like I said, our first Monday morning motivation of the year, and I'm excited to just share some thoughts with you. I um, just felt led until the Lord tells me otherwise. Uh, I'm just going to share some some random thoughts uh, on my personal page every a uh, few times a week. Um, I share just my thoughts from my devotion, from my quiet time with the Lord, and I just want to pass those on to you as well. If you're not, um, don't happen to be on my personal page, if you just uh, are part of this community, um, I just feel, feel led to share those with you too, to just share my heart with you guys. Um, We've been at this for a minute. You guys have been with me from the beginning. For those of you who don't know me, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Lois East. I own LA Grace's Attic. We have an online uh, crafting community, uh, an online crafting uh, business where we paint wooden signs. Uh, we do all things crafty and creative. Uh, you'll see everything from uh, crafts, live crafts, DIYs, budget-friendly home decor, uh, recipes, anything, any kind of life hack that makes my life easier, I want to share with you guys because uh, we're all in this together, right? But my heart of hearts uh, is to encourage others. And so I want you, when you stop by my page, to not only get a creative idea, um, buy a sign, buy a t-shirt, buy a journal, but I also want you to be blessed with some encouragement from the Lord. So I just want to speak to you today as we begin this new year. I just want us to uh, not only start off our Monday right, but start off this first full week of um, January, or actually this is the second full week, but we're going to start it off right uh, with some gratitude. And so I want to read this scripture to you this morning, Isaiah 35, 10. And uh, my car is talking to me. <clears throat> and I just want you all to know that when I encourage you, I am encouraged. Like this is a word for me too. So the Lord's put it on my heart. Um, so not only is it for me, but I'm praying it's a word for somebody out there too. So Isaiah 35, 10 says, uh, and this is the little ES, ESV Bible. And it says, and the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing, right? Everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Amen. Um, I just want to give you this thought this morning, okay? A critical spirit is a symptom of a lack of gratitude, right? Ouch. Uh, when the Lord uh, put that on my heart this morning, man, it just stepped on my toes because I can get into complaint mode real quick and real easy a lot of times. And uh, so the Lord just oppressed upon me, are you grateful, right? Are you grateful? I need to keep God the main thing, right? Um, this verse clearly says that the people came in rejoicing that God had rescued them and ransomed them and gave them a new look, a new life and uh, brought them into safety. And they came in praising that spirit of gratitude, thanking him for who he was and all he had done. And God gave them joy, right? Gratitude cultivates the joy in our heart. And I'll tell you what, joyful people, they aren't critical. Joyful people aren't grumpy. Joyful people are joyful, right? Um, and that is because joy is God-centered. It's not me-centered. When I take my eyes off of Jesus and I start focusing on me and my problems, I can get grumpy really quick. <laughs> Can I get a yes and an amen? So um, just focus on 
being grateful today. Start there, right? Um, I encourage you to, uh, if you haven't already, give thanks to the Lord today, but write it down, right? Make it tangible. Um, write it down in a journal, uh, on a note card, uh, put it in your phone, and give thanks to the Lord for who He is in your life, and um, you know who He is overall, who He is in your life specifically, and what He's done for you. Write those things down, at least six things. If you can only come up with one, then write, focus on that one, and grow to six or ten or just fill up the page, uh, whatever you feel led to do, and then look back on that throughout the day and praise Him again every time you look at it, and do a new list every morning. Sometimes you'll have the same things. Sometimes grace is often on my list most every day. Thank you, God, for your grace. Sometimes I'll be repetitive, but sometimes it's something new for the day. But keep writing those things. Uh, it it helps me to do that. I write. I start off. Um, I have a journal prompt every day, gratitude, and I we list that down. I get the littles involved in it, um, and it's just a good way to change your mindset for the day and to stay focused on Jesus. So um, be grateful and be full of joy and walk in that today. I love you guys. Have a great and happy Monday, and I'll be back later this week with something crafty. It's time to get our Valentines on. Mwah.